All right, so you're a grown man. Does that mean that you can't wear Jordans? Does that mean you can't buy Jordans and enjoy them? Absolutely not. I think that one of the worst things that can happen is someone gets older and they have someone else in their life maybe telling them, hey, you can't wear those Jordans anymore. You know the shoes that you love to wear, that you feel a certain way when you step out the house wearing? You can't wear them anymore. You gotta go get some Sperry's. And personally, my philosophy is you shouldn't be denied that. If there's little things in life that you enjoy, like wearing Jordans or any other sneaker brand, and someone is telling you not to wear them, be gone. The move, however, I think is you're buying preferences with Jordans. Maybe the more vibrant, colorful pair isn't for you anymore. Maybe the lightning fours just are too bright for you. So in this video, I'm gonna highlight five pairs that are a little bit more toned down, a little bit more clean and simple. Okay, first up, we have a pair of Jordan 3s, and these are just a little bit more on the underrated side. So we've got the Air Jordan 3 Mocha. This is honestly one of the more forgotten Jordan 3s. I rarely will see people rocking this shoe. It's totally outshined by the other classic Jordan 3 models. If you like earth tones and really don't want a whole lot of color in your sneakers, check these out. Next up, if you're a grown man and you're into Jordans, you're lying if you haven't thought about this topic before. Whether you're on one side of the fence or the other, whether you're like, I would never do that, or if you're like, ah, I might do it. I gotta keep a pair on ice just in case. You have probably thought about wearing Concord 11s with a suit. Now listen, I'm not here to talk about the subject too much because it kind of opens a can of worms whether you can wear Jordans with a suit or not, specifically this one. You know, this shoe I see a lot as far as people getting married in it, people wearing it to a wedding, whatever it is, people feel like they can dress this shoe up. Obviously because of that black patent leather. Would I rock these at my own wedding? I don't think so. I don't think I would. Um, unless, you know, you know what? I'll talk about this topic. Maybe I'll do a whole entire video on it, but I'll tell you this, it is doable. You can rock these to a wedding. You can pull off the look and you can do it well. Just. It take, you have to be elite. You have to be elite with it. You gotta be good. It better be a nice fitting suit and uh, a good crowd. If this is something that you've wanted to do, Concord 11s are the pair to do it with. Okay, moving on, let's get into a little bit of hype. This shoe resells for a pretty penny. This is a shoe that I kinda keep on ice. I wear it very sparingly. I think I've only worn it a few times, but we've got the Black Cause 4s. What's really cool about this shoe is that it's all black. It's muted. You kinda gotta know what you have or look at it close to really appreciate this shoe. So if you're big into sneakers and you like having a little bit of hype on your feet, but on the low, where not a lot of people are gonna know that you have them, but the people that are into shoes will, this is a good option, man. This is a, this is a crazy option. Unless you wanna spend a pretty penny to go out and get them, I would suggest maybe trading something. Maybe you have a bunch of pairs that you're willing to sell or get rid of because you're just not wearing them anymore and you wanna get some heat that is subtle, Cause 4s right here, man, Cause 4s. The gray pair is amazing as well, but this one is a little bit more muted and can definitely be uh, passed off as more grown. It glows in the dark as well, and I'm not a big glow in the dark guy, and I don't think that that's a grown man feature, but for some reason it works well with this shoe and it doesn't take away from the rest of it. Okay, next up, we got another pair of Jordan 4s. I'll be pretty quick with these since I just showed you one, but I think it's really important to have a nice clean pair of white sneakers regardless of what your age is. I think that some grown men just want a shoe that's gonna go with everything. Maybe they're at a point in their life where they can't spend a lot of time picking out an outfit and they just want a cool shoe to throw on feet that they can keep by the door and just not have to think about much. Right here, man. I doubt that this shoe is reselling for a whole lot right now. I was able to buy it, I think, after its release for retail, good leather quality on here, and this shoe just does the trick, regardless of what your style is, menswear or streetwear, these things will work. By the way, Jordan 4s fit true to size, Concord 11s fit true to size, Jordan 3s fit true to size, and the last one I'm gonna show you fits true to size. Let's dive into it. By now you know that Ama Manier does really good collaborations, and this one, and these Jordan 1s were no exception. When you have a brand that really pays attention to materials and details on a sneaker, 
the success is gonna be there. It probably has the most color out of any sneaker I showed you on this list. Obviously, you saw that none of these were super vibrant and in your face. Truthfully, Jordan 1s are probably the most grown or mature Jordan Retro in the entire line. Anything after, I don't know, six or seven gets really bulky. Obviously, I got some 11s on here, but some of the other Jordan Retros are just very bulky, and when you add a lot of color to those, it just can uh, look a little bit more sportswear or uh, retro basketball than uh, you know a grown-up menswear look, in my opinion. I think that Jordan 1s are accepted in pretty much every circle nowadays, and I think that's cool. You know, this shoe has really broken down some barriers and, and done a lot, and it's here to stay. I think that for a while, people thought Jordan 1s were just trendy. So if you have a particular pair of Jordans that you wear that you think is a little bit more of a grown-up or mature look, hit the comment section. Let me know. If you guys enjoyed this one, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want to see more content just like this, go check out some of my other videos. I'm on Instagram at Eddie Wind Kicks, where I style most of these shoes. So give me a follow over there. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.